actually let's take the constant tracker now from from here so in here you have all the necessary functions this class doesn't require any fizzling around it works perfectly so thumbs up big thumbs up for this guy so i have that set up i now will because I need to access the, access the constant tracker functions. So let's open the constant tracker and uh, let's set up this so that we will have everything that we need. Again, I will have some helper classes in here because I'm live logging what is happening inside. And then I will take copy paste of those functions in here like so everything is on its place and uh, this copy paste you do, truly let me tell you, you don't need to do anything just you need to just call these three functions in here yes i did modify something okay <clears throat> let's take a step back in here and uh, what am I doing in this? Because I'm using is user consent valid. So you can only see in here is GDPR, can show ads, can show personalized ads, and then the uh, comparison functions for those ones. So I just simplified it so that I'm combining the status of these functions into one so i can just check through one function so what i'm saying the true false status of is gdpr so i'm requesting the status from here i get true or false i'm checking can can i show personalized ads true or false so i'm running this function and i'm querying can show ads these are non-personalized ads again true false and i'm returning the constant validity based on if it is non not a gdpr related user let's just return true we don't have to care about it okay there's no gdpr issues else we need to have a permission to show some ads to return true so either cancel personalized ads or cancel ads must be true and again i'm just logging in here and we can take a look when we're done what this actually shows in different situations and i'm returning the constant validity okay so in gdpr let's just say like this that uh, we don't have the function yet in here. Let me see. Consent tracker is user consent valid. Okay, this will return true or false. So, but we don't yet know how to use that true or false. Okay, but it is a to do. Hmm. Now let's jump back into our into this GDPR class. <clears throat> Our request info update function seems ready, though not finished. That is okay. So we need to now continue to load the form. Okay, load form is quite complex. So let's create user messaging platform, load consent form, and we need to have those let's put input the comments so we know what is happening and uh, this will need to have a context this will have a listener function for what is the consent form okay this is returning the consent form from the Google, uh, what is that? Consent form. Sorry, because we can't referencing our we cannot reference our consent form class here. I'm just 
making unique tag and we need to have again form error handling <clears throat> like so let's copy paste the form error in here like so and let's again log the reason of the error if such would happen now we need to uh, use the constant form so I'm just gonna pretty much say add a comment in here and we will address our consent form return consent form form into our variable this one here no, then we can call this later on and reuse it through a button or some function if we need to okay when consent information consent status now we want to compare the status of the consent form did the user get con consent at all or not so consent information and we have consent status if required this pretty much means that the user has not responded yet at all so we have to go through the consent form again to help me understand what is happening i'm logging that this is required and now we can say constant form dot show like so it will need activity and again we will be having callback functions actually one okay this will also have a possibility of error so we say for error again if from error sorry guys is not null we will again log we don't do any quick moves just log the error and then if we have it obtained we will actually initialize our ads and uh, finalize that user has consented now consent state status is is consent information consent status obtained we are now checking if it's obtained then again a log logging function and we will again use our detailed is user consent valid because it's kind of the funny thing now i told you that google ump sdk will be the destruction of freemium ad based applications because if user denied all he's he's gonna still be in the status of obtained this doesn't differentiate that by any means and you're you'll be fooled by the google sdk that the user fully consented to all he might as well have denied all still legally he consented that is stupid so <clears throat> we'll be again updating a variable into uh, according to the uh, the detailed true state of consensus and in here we can finally say initialize the ads so if we succeeded anyhow in here user consented 
half a measure or it doesn't matter we can at least initiate the ads and let the Google decide to show the ads or not <clears throat> and the funny thing in here is that the dismissal is actually done by recalling the load form now I gotta say this is quite unlogical but this is actually how it is in the official UMP examples now always end your calling of the um, consent form showing of the consent form and reaction ended up by recalling the load form so I believe Google has built in method in this SDK that when it is obtained and you reload it it's gonna get hidden instead of shown that's the way it needs to be <clears throat> working so I'm just copy pasting official Google here don't don't get distracted and again now we are in required state now we have to say and are when else and we will just in any other state we will just go, again go through our detailed is user consent valid function or not okay we have to continue this class couple more functions I noted a small minor mistake luckily we haven't used them yet we need to uh, co make a custom function within this class we don't want to directly call the consent tracker is user consent valid so let's create a function named is consent obtained but we're just gonna be packing this function with is consent user valid of the consent tracker so it needs to pass in consent tracker so in here we're just gonna say obtained so and in here we want to say consent tracker is consent valid and beyond this both needs to be true so now we want to use the Google SDK's status obtained so consent information consent status says obtained but that might not be the fact that you can show the ads so the ads might be fully disabled therefore we're just gonna make an end term is user con consent valid from our consent tracker so the consent tracker I showed you compares all these three major terms from the TCS strings and gives us the true valid status if this app can show ads at all <clears throat> okay then we will also check if it's not required okay another one so not required so when do we not do not require this so we can use the constant information constant status if it says not required so at least we can trust in the uh, UMP SDK because this not required tells us that it's not it's non GDPR user so okay let's trust this one Google wouldn't lie to us at this at least maybe maybe not okay then we can say is is obtained either one must be either one must be true where the heck is the or not required and now we can pretty much log and return this status like so <clears throat> again I'm just logging and then I'm returning the true state if the consent was obtained in a favorable way for the developer okay now let's modify our uh, um, to do just a bit because we do want to um, change 
it's so this is internal function so we'll be calling is consent obtained and we will pass in the consent tracker that is required inside of that function so these are not yet finished but i'll change i'll prepare them how they will be used in the final version of the app so we had three to do's okay and our most important function is this one hmm now what do we need to code still we have a load form okay the reuse of existing consent form let's do that